The following video is sponsored by InstantMaddenCoins.com. The only place to get Madden Coins instantly on every console and platform is InstantMaddenCoins.com. Use code CLICKWID at checkout for a 10% discount. Hey, what is up, guys? Monday afternoon, and it is ClickWid here back again with another Madden 17 Ultimate Team video. Guys, today we got a new promo put into the game. These are called the Season Stars. You guys can see them on your screen there. You've got Melvin Gordon on the left. You've got Quan Alexander on the right. We do also have some other players as well that had new, play, uh, new cards come out. Some pretty good ones here. Uh, some of the set heroes and things like that go some, from somewhere between 200 to about 500k. Um, I'm expecting that those prices will drop a little bit. So this isn't the biggest promo of the year. But it's definitely a way that you can get some good cards on your team for a decent price. So guys, obviously, like I said, the first thing that you're going to see when you log in, you're going to see the new information here right at the, the login page. And you are also going to see uh, that you do have the potential of buying some of these Season Stars packs. Packs. Now, if you go in and you actually want to purchase a Season Star pack, what's guaranteed in them is one Season Star item. Now, this can either be a collectible or a player, plus five other players, four team items, and 100 contracts. This is 60,000 coins. Now, I will say this, guys. Based on what I see here, this looks like one of the worst packs that they have put into the game. Dead serious. Like, this looks freaking terrible on the surface. So... I'm not going to be purchasing any of these because these look like a complete ripoff. I don't even know why the hell somebody would buy them, to be completely honest with you. Like, it, it's asinine, to be honest with you. Now, you can also purchase a bundle here, and the bundle, bundle is going to guarantee you an elite season star player. So that at least gives you some sort of value. The problem is that most of the season star elites already are going for, like, 15 to 30,000 coins somewhere in that range. So it's not a huge value. It's really not a huge value You could get some of the limited edition ones. Of course uh, those like I said go for depending on the card I think uh, Ben Jones the cheapest one was like 350k But let's go in here and we'll take a look at the actual sets here so that you guys can get an idea of the cards that are actually included in this promo this this week um, So I actually clicked on uh, the ultimate legends one. Sorry about that guys. Uh, where the hell are they? Uh, oh, here we go. Season stars. Okay. So here you go. The first one that you're going to see is Devontae Adams. Now this is a 95 overall wide receiver. It's a good card. Like I said, it's a good card going for, I think right now around 400,000, uh, for the limited edition version. Now the set promo or the set version, which you see here, this card's going for like 200 to 250,000, depending on your console, depending on the time, things like that. And again, this is Monday afternoon. So this has been after a few hours of this promo being up. Uh, we do also have the Quan Alexander. Now all of these can, uh, can be done by either collecting the cards or else you can actually go in here. Um, you, you know, you have to get the individual elite cards, of course, like we always see every freaking promo. It's basically just a rehash of the same thing that we've been seen throughout the year where you have to collect like a bunch of elite players and then you get like a decent elite player uh in this case you have to collect four 91 or 92 overalls and then you get yourself a 95 overall now like i said each one of these take a look at them they're going for not really super expensive uh, well, actually, this one looks like it is going for a lot. So there might be one or two of each set that is going for like a decent amount, um, which, of course, makes sense, because otherwise, how the hell are you going to actually get uh, any sort of good value out of them? So maybe I just got unlucky when I was looking before. So, yeah, this one's going for 60K. Maybe 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 I was a little bit underselling it when I said 15 to 25 K um, But yeah, like so some of these obviously like 40 K here So yeah, I guess like the cheapest ones are probably closer to 40 K, but uh, let's see this one No, okay. This one's a little bit cheaper. This might have been the one that I was looking at So this one 23 K so you can see obviously you can actually put together these sets for not super super expensive You might actually be able to do this Devonte Adams for a little bit cheaper right now Even than what he's actually selling for so it might be a little bit of profit potentially to be made if you wait on your snipes and things like that uh, but again the best way to do it uh, is to just, you know, pull packs and potentially get one of those ones that's more expensive and then put it into the set if that's the way that you want to go. Um, the other option is that you can actually go through what's called the Group 3 Upgrade. In this case, uh, these are actually broken down into groups. So the first group is Devontae Adams and Quan Alexander uh, for the heroes. Second group is Ben Jones and Ladarius Webb, which that Ladarius Webb has great man coverage and zone coverage, by the way, guys. Um, and then you've got the Melvin Gordon and the Daniel Hunter. Those are Group 1. So in order to actually do an upgrade 
and get yourself one of the elite players what you can actually do is potentially pull some of the um the collectibles now the collectibles go for like i said closer to 15 to 25k i think that might have been what i was thinking of uh this one in this case 10k right now for the sam bradford one if you collect all four of these you're going to guarantee yourself one of the elite players from that group if that makes sense so that's a very easy way of doing it um, obviously you have a good chance of potentially pulling one of the the good players you might actually even be able to pull uh, it does, no, never mind. It does say it has to be one of the that you actually would get one of the 91 or 92s. I was thinking it's possible that they might hook you up and give you one of the limited editions, but it's EA. Why? Why would they ever do that? Why would they ever, ever give you anything good out of sets? Like it's just it makes no sense for them, right? It just makes absolutely no sense. So uh, that's basically the the promo in a nutshell, guys. There are a bunch of players in there um, that have good cards. Demario Davis is one. I'm just looking over at my other screen here. Um, some of the other good ones. Uh, Tyrell Williams has a solid card. Uh, we saw the Steven Nelson that was decent. Um, so yeah, there, I mean, there's definitely a few cards. Marcus Cooper has a nice card too. Um, but, uh, you know, those are basically the, the breakdown of the set. Now, I did also want to go in here and show you guys, too, uh, another way that you could potentially do this is actually by doing some solo challenges. It looks like they might do one per day. We don't know that for sure, but right now, there's one up right now. Uh, it's just a Season Stars challenge. It's a pro difficulty. You get 1,000 coins when you complete it, and also, you're going to get yourself a Season Star reward pack. Now, the Season Star reward pack is actually going to give you two of those collectibles or a player so it's either going to be uh, a collectible and a player or two collectibles i guess could hypothetically be two players but that would be just ridiculous if they ever did that um so this is a possibility you could potentially get some really good stuff out of this pack as well so if you do one of these a day you can see that you're going to be able to get yourself one of those players relatively quickly so that's something to consider guys like i said i don't know exactly how long these are going to be in the the game i mean obviously this one says 220 but it doesn't it, that doesn't necessarily mean they won't add another one tomorrow you never know it's, it's really hard to say with ea sometimes they hook you up and sometimes they don't with the solo challenges chances are i guess it's probably not going to be one per day it's probably going to be one or two per week but this does look like it's going to be a promo that goes on for a few weeks at least uh potentially for me i guess i don't want to say the rest of the year but at least for uh it could be a decent length of time so uh with that said guys that's a quick breakdown of the promo like i said i'm not going to be opening up any packs for this just because to me i don't really see the value in it there are a lot of better stuff that you could potentially pull on the weekends for example like the ultimate legends and things like that now granted those are going to be much more rare than like pulling even the, the limited editions for the, the season stars probably, but I, I still feel like the payoff is much better. You know what I'm saying? Like you get a 95 overall here if you get one of the, the high, um, the best ones, like the limited editions in this case, whereas if you wait for the weekend and you actually get yourself an ultimate legend, that's going to be like a 97, 98, 99 overall. And obviously those are going to be worth a lot more. So that's just my personal opinion, guys. But I want to hear from you guys. What do you think about this promo? And especially, what do you think about these packs? I don't know. Am I missing something by saying that this is like one of the worst packs that they've had in the game? Like, take a look at this thing one more time here before we wrap up this video. You get one season star item, which could be a collectible, which we saw go for potentially like 10 to 15 to 20K, somewhere in that range, plus five players. That doesn't even say five gold players, by the way. I'm assuming it's five. No, it's not even five gold players. It says two silver or better or three gold or better. So you can see on there, like, there's really not a lot of great value there. I mean, yeah, you could potentially pull one of the limited editions with that. But chances are you're not going to. And you get four other team items, which are usually crap, of course. And you get 100 contracts. Oh, boy. This is 60,000 freaking coins, guys. Like, the chances of you making that back, unless you pull one of the elite players, which as we know are not, it's, it's just going to be super rare to do that. Or you pull one of the limited editions, which is again, going to be super rare, but at least that would pay off like what nah, I guess it would pay off like eight or uh, eight to nine of the, of these packs. If you actually did that. But do you think that you're going to pull a limited edition out of one out of every nine packs? Like, give me a break. Seriously. It, it, you might not even pull one of the base elites, which go for like 60K, which would just pay for the pack itself, one out of every 10 packs. You probably wouldn't, chances are. So to me, this is like, it's a very poor value pack. I wanna hear from you guys, so what do you guys think about it? Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully you learned something. If you did, please do me a favor and drop a like on the video. Again, guys, sorry I'm not doing a pack opening. I'm just not gonna waste coins on it. It's just, it's just not worth it. So thanks again, guys. Drop a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll talk to you guys again soon.